baddies, so today's video is all about keeping your straight hair moisturized. And I know it's a little bit of an oxymoron because my hair is curly right now, but the show must go on and the points are still valid. So anyway, so one of my baddies asked um, how to keep your straight hair moisturized without making it revert to curls. And the quick answer is you have to focus on hydration while it's still wet before you actually blow dry and or do be roller set, whatever it is that you do to straighten your hair. You have to focus on hydration before that. Then you can use serums to kind of just keep it tame throughout the week or two weeks or however long you, you use it. But typically lightweight moisturizers is going to help. So I'm just gonna jump right in. This is a product heavy video, meaning I'm going to talk mostly about products, some products that you can go out and buy that you can use when your hair is wet right before you start styling your hair and you straighten it. That's gonna give you maximum hydration. important to keep your hair moisturized, AKA hydrated, because you wanna prevent breakage, damage. You wanna pre prevent damage to your the bonds of your hair. Um, overall, you want to maintain shine, you wanna maintain the health of your hair, and you wanna maintain the structure of your hair. It's pretty straightforward, right? And so, if you're a curly girl like me, you know that, you know, it's easier to hydrate your curls, your curls, right? Because they're curly, you hydrate them, they get wet, they, you know, absorb the moisture, and then they they just, you know, they just do what they do, right? It's your natural state. But when you are someone like me who likes to straighten your hair, especially during the fall winter months, and you just want to have that straight hair thing going, um, it's a little harder to keep it hydrated without making it revert to curls. So that's why you focus on hydration. And really it's all in the shampoo, conditioner, all that stuff. Like make sure that you're using moisturizing shampoos, conditioners, deep conditioners, all that jazz is happening um, prior to to actually straightening your hair. But the thing that matters the absolute most are the leave-in conditioners, oils, and or foams, and or heat, heat protectants that you use prior to styling your hair because this is what's going to kind of maintain that structure frizz-free for the longest period of time. So when you're looking, when you are shopping, whether you're at Ulta, Sephora, Tarjay, anywhere, right? When you're shopping for a product, you wanna look for products that reduce frizz because reducing frizz aka we're gonna keep your hair tamed while it's straight so that it doesn't revert back to curly that's what that means right in curly girl language okay so let me just talk because you know i say on this channel everything is about science science and more science right um so i want to start with kind of giving you guys you know the products the ingredients first that are clinically proven to uh, hydrate your hair and keep it frizz free that is what we're talking about at this moment so so just give me a second so I can pull up my stupid notes because I'm all over the place. So the first ingredient is going to be hyaluronic acid, which we're no stranger to on this channel. If you love skincare, hyaluronic acid right now is one of the goats of skincare. But there was a study published in the Journal of Cosmetic Science that found that hyaluronic acid can not only hydrate your hair, but it also reduces frizz. OK, so a lot of that staticiness, a lot of that friction that's caused to your hair because it's not moisturized, um, hyaluronic acid is definitely the girl to help reduce frizz. Hey baddies, it's your girl Bevy and I'm interrupting you really quickly because I have to ask this very important question. Why am I not at 100k subscribers yet? Let's keep it a buck. I'm giving you real content. I'm dropping game for free and I have loads of comments, okay? Loads of comments from my baddies saying that my content has helped them on their path to hair regrowth okay effective hair regrowth so please okay help a sister out start liking okay liking these videos to help me in the algorithm subscribe to this channel share this content with your friends that may or may not be honest about whether or not they need my help okay and most importantly i'm dropping a hair growth serum very very soon please click the link down in the description box okay and leave your information so that you can be the first to know I'm about to turn the hair loss treatment, okay, space upside down on its head because the gatekeepers don't look like me and I'm about to fix that, okay? I'm looking out for your interest. I'm really helping you because I really care. This is my mission and I need your support. So that's all I had to say, okay? Continue on. Another one is 
Panthenol. A study published in the International Journal of Cosmetic Science found that Panthenol can help to improve hydration and elasticity, okay? Then there's ceramide, okay? A study in the Journal of American Academy of Dermatology found that ceramides can also increase hydration, improve hydration while reducing breakage. Then there's dimethicone. Dimethicone um, was found in a study of cosmetic science that it can help to improve hydration and the shininess of your hair. Then I'm not gonna name all the studies for these, but there are studies and receipts I'll include it in the description box that shows that these particular oils and butters are going to be the goat for reducing frizz and maintaining hydration. Remember, the key word for keeping your hair straight and hydrate it while it's in the straight state without reverting it back to curly is frizz free or frizz reduction. So these oils and or creams or butter, excuse me, are gonna be argan oil, jojoba oil, shea butter, coconut oil, aloe vera. And this one is not an oil, well, aloe vera was not an oil either, but that's more natural, aloe vera. And then um, this one in the study of um, cosmetic science, a study published in the Journal of Cosmetic Science, glycerin can also improve hydration and reduce frizz. So these are all all the ingredients that are clinically proven, they are published in reputable journals, okay? Especially journals, cosmetic journals that are used for creating and manuf that manufacturers use for kind of extracting the best ingredients to, to do the functions that they wanted to do, to serve with the function that they wanted to serve. These were found to help reduce frizz the most and keep your hair hydrated. And so of course your girl is going to do the research or has already done the research for you rather to tell you which products you're going to buy over the counter that's going to do all of this. It's gonna hydrate your hair, reduce frizz, and keep it the most hydrated while it's in a straight state in between washes so that you don't have to keep applying, you don't have to mess with the overall structure of the straight hair and revert it back to curly, okay? And then you can use an in-between serum um, just to kind of keep everything tamed. In between, um, I'm gonna insert the one that I love. You can also use the Olaplex one. It's the serum. It's very, very lightweight. Apply it to your hair. If you do a tubi or a dubi, you know, or if you pin curl it at night, you want to use these, one or of these. I don't have the name off the top of my head, but the IGX one, I believe is IGX or IGK, the uh, Olaplex one. The other one that's going to be here is my favorite. The absolute best. I've tried the oils, the um, I've tried the K18 and the Olaplex oils, and I've tried the Olaplex serum. They're all okay as far as maintaining my hair's bounce and like that straightness and keeping the flyaways tamed and keeping the frizz down in between washes when it's already in a dry state without making it curly again. But this one right here, I think is the IGK one. Chef's Kiss is the best and it's all I use when my hair is straight. I wrap it up in a doobie and I take it out or I pin curl it depending on the look that I'm going for, right? And it does not revert my hair back to curly. It does not do any of that. And it also has bond repair in it. So it's also improving the strength of my hair. So that's in between. But these are products that you're gonna use, leave-in products that you're gonna use, heat protectants that you're gonna use right before styling. That is the key right there so that it can you can keep a longer straight hair. Does that make sense? Keep your straight hair longer, all right? So I'm gonna talk about the name of the product. I'm gonna tell you the key ingredients in the product, um, how to use it. I already spoke about the study with the ingredients. So I'm just gonna talk about the key ingredients, but keep in mind some of these have been actives like panthenol, dimethicone, and all that stuff in it. But I'm just talking about the key stuff. So the first one on my list is OGX Renewing Plus Argan Oil um, of Morocco Penetrating Oil. So the key ingredients obviously is the argan oil and vitamin E in this one. And the way that it works is that um, the argan oil is a natural oil um, that is rich in vitamin E and fatty acids and it helps to moisturize and protect your hair, making, making it less likely to frizz, okay? So that's the first one. Oh, and how to use, you're gonna apply a small amount of the oil to, dram to dram damp 
damp or dry hair you're gonna focus on the ends and then you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna style it so you're gonna either put in you're gonna put it right before the roller set or you're gonna put it right before you start to blow dry your hair okay and the vitamin E is an antioxidant that protects your hair from damage okay um, from heat damage the next one is Tresemme's keratin smooth shine serum the key ingredients in this one is keratin Moroccan and Moroccan argan oil the keratin is protein so it makes the hair smoother and shinier the Moroccan oil is a natural oil that's rich in vitamin E and fatty acids and it's gonna moisturize and protect the hair from frizzing you're gonna apply this to damp hair of course you're gonna you're gonna show the ends extra love and then you're gonna style it okay the next one is John Frieda frizz ease dream curls air drives wave styling long words but you're gonna see the product okay the key ingredients in this one is coconut oil and shea butter and the coconut oil is a natural oil that's rich in fatty acids it's gonna maintain the moisture and protect hair and then it's going to reduce frizz okay um, you're gonna apply a generous amount of the foam and then you're going to style your hair and yes you can use foam to style straight hair it may leave your hair a little poofy if that's not the look you're going for then you want to stick to the leave-ins the serums and the oils the next one is for my baddies on a budget who need something that's a little bit more budget friendly is the herbal essences naked moisture weightless oil mist this is a mist right so it's very very lightweight the goal here is not to drench your curls you are just putting this up on as a leave-in as a, a moisturizer as a heat protectant right before you heat um, you style your hair and if you have fine hair like me a mist is really good because it's not extra heavy and you know you're not gonna worry about your hair being like really like like is it stringy is that the word I'm looking for you know what I'm talking about when you straighten your hair and it's like uh, it's like so heavy it's not gonna do that the key ingredients are avocado and aloe vera avocado oil and aloe vera the avocado oil is an oil that's rich in fatty acids it's gonna moisturize and reduce frizz um, and then of course the aloe vera is a natural moisturizer that's going to soothe and condition your hair it's gonna nourish your hair so you're gonna spray it onto damp hair or dry hair and you're gonna style it okay the next one I'm not really a fan of this brand I'll be honest but it does have all the ingredients it has some or most of the ingredients um, and it's the Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioner Repair Cream. I think Cantu is very, very heavy for me because I have fine hair. So I typically don't use Cantu or recommend Cantu for fine hair girls. But if you're a 4C girl, this might be a good one for you because they are thicker. But this one has Shea Butter, Jojoba Oil, and Vitamin E. And the Shea Butter is going to obviously moisturize, condition, and soften your hair. The Jojoba Oil, it kind of works as your hair, your own natural sebum. So if you have really, really dry hair this is going to be good because it's going to help add more sebum to the it's going to help kind of fortify the sebum that you're not naturally um producing and of course it's going to reduce frizz the vitamin e is an antioxidant that's going to serve as a good heat protectant so this one is really really good for my really really thick hair girls so if you got thick thick beautiful 4c hair and you know you're gonna have that thick goddess hair especially once you straighten it this might be a good one for you but for my fine hair girls like me you might want to stay away because it's gonna be a little bit too much moisture right and it's gonna weigh your hair down the next one is Kenra professional platinum hot spray 20 this one has hydrolyzed keratin and silicone and the hydrolyzed keratin is protein so it's gonna help to strengthen your hair and protect it from heat damage also it has silicones in it some silicones are really good for helping to straighten your hair it kind of creates a film over your hair to protect it from heat damage and like to protect it from having heat penetrate in your hair so this one has silicone to help um, smooth and seal the hair's cuticle and it's going to also prevent that frizz so you're going to spray this onto damp hair before you heat style and you're going to heat style so this is the Kenra professional platinum hot spray 20 and just I, just before i go into it keratin hydrolyzed keratin um does help to protect your hair from heat damage so this one is really really good heat protectant this one is going to protect your hair from heat damage is going to coat the hair with the silicone it's going to make it shiny so by all means this is a good one to use right before you you know do be whatever you do to straighten your hair okay the next one is the redken one united 
Benefit All-in-One Multi-Benefit Treatment. So this one has the keratin, the hydrolyzed keratin, silk, and argan oil, okay? Like I mentioned, keratin is protein, so it's gonna strengthen your hair. Um, it's gonna protect your hair from heat damage. The hydrolyzed silk um, helps to keep the hair smooth and conditioned. Argan oil has the fatty acids and the vitamin E, so it's gonna moisturize, and all of this is gonna reduce frizz and do everything that I said it should do. Um, and it's basically a leave-in conditioner that you're gonna apply to your hair um, right before you style. So that's Redken, okay? And then I think I have two more on this list. Um, the second to last is the Moroccan oil treatment. Um, it has argan oil to salt to seferol and linseed extract. Argan oil, like I said, is a, it's an oil that's rich in fatty acids that's gonna moisturize the hair, make it less likely to frizz. The seferol is a form of vitamin E that is going to protect the hair from heat damage. And then linseed extract helps to smooth and condition your hair. So it's gonna make it really soft and just, oh, just so soft to touch, right? like buttery. Um, and this one, you're gonna apply a small amount, a little goes a long way, to damp hair, focus on the ends, and then you're gonna start heat style as usual, okay? The Moroccan oil treatment one is really, really good to moisturize your hair, especially if you have dry hair. And then lastly, um, but not least, is Living Proof, which is one of my favorite um, brands because they spend a lot of money on research and development, mostly research to find out what are the best products and ingredients to use in their formulation and this is the living proof no frizz nourishing styling cream this the key ingredients is keratin amino acids and lipids keratin is going to strengthen your hair so it's going to function as a protein treatment in a way the amino acids is going to help repair the hair so if you already have damaged hair from heat it's going to repair the hair and the lipids are going to moisturize your hair and condition your hair so this one you're going to apply to damp hair before styling it and then you're just going to style it as usual Sorry about that, my kids were being kids, right? <laughs> Um, anyway, so bottom line is this is what you're gonna do. Um, like I mentioned, prior to st heat styling your hair, these products I searched, they have the ingredients that are clinically proven to reduce frizz, which is very important. That's what you guys want. And I'll be honest with you, if I choose, I'm gonna go with either Living Proof, um, Red Ken, or the Kenra Professional. Those are the three that I would pretty much go for um, out of this entire list just to kind of chime that list down a little bit for you but you have to do what's best for you based on your hair's personal need personal based on your hair's individual needs right so anyway that's it i'm gonna end this video and yeah bye